Uh, yesterday we had talked about this uh, frustration aggression hypothesis. Uh, today we are going to talk about a model uh, Anderson's and Bushman's model uh, which basically uh, tries to explain okay, uh, this whole uh, process of uh, aggressive uh, retaliation, aggressive reactions uh, in the light of the information processing model. Okay. Uh, if you look at uh, the different schools of thoughts in psychology. Uh, the whole uh, uh, theories in psychology, the whole uh, you know, nature of research in psychology, uh, they were influenced at times in the history by different different schools of thoughts. Okay. Uh, for at one point in time, behaviorism was very strong, the Freudian thought was very strong. Uh, okay. So, similarly a time came when the information processing model became uh, extremely uh, important. And what uh, Anderson and Bushman did was uh, that they tried to look at the social cognitive information processing of aggression. Okay. So, now you have a social dimension to it, you have a cognitive dimension to it and then it is uh, with respect to how the information is processed. Okay. If you look at the whole uh, the basic uh, premise of the information processing model all it says is that you have an input, you have an output and then some processes take place in between and therefore, uh, how the input will lead to certain type of an outcome that primarily depends on how it is processed. So, Anderson and Bushman what they did was that they were also trying to implement the same model, okay, trying to suggest that uh, when you have a source of anger in your environment. Okay, there would be some social factors and there would be certain uh, know, things that you already have experienced. Study you remember towards the end we were talking that even uh, uh, with more and more of experience the sight of uh, the sound of uh, frustration can also trigger the same amount of anger. So, it is not uh, that every time the real uh, threat has to be in prison, uh, uh, present in front of you. So, what this model suggested was uh, that by that time it was established that memory is a complex associative network of nodes characterizing cognitive notions and emotions. So, you have a certain now memory of uh, what led to what okay, uh, in the past and therefore, you have a good network of certain nodes the primary factors that had triggered. Okay, uh, aggression within the environment that were the source of uh, frustration that were the source of aggression okay, that you already have. So, life experiences what it does is that it will facilitate the linkage among those nodes. So, you have different different episodes and then based on your uh, earlier experiences okay, you start establishing relationship and this is how you start saying that this is a troublesome group. Okay, X is a uh, troublesome boy. Okay. So, that is how the networks are formed okay. and then they say that a strongly interconnected set of concepts make our knowledge structure. Okay. So, what leads to anger you have that type of understanding depending on the connectivity between these types of nodes which is again dependent on uh, the life experiences. Now, these knowledge structures guide our interpretation. So, I already have a past experience when a new situation comes to me okay, I am guided by my earlier experience okay, and that helps me uh, know analyze whether this situation can invoke similar type of uh, anger or not. Okay. Person and situation related variables affect the present internal state of the individual okay. and in turn this state influences the appraisal and the decision making. Once again we have come to appraisal if you recollect okay, for long we had been talking about the goal congruent and incongruent emotions and how appraisal of emotion is important. So, here also you realize that the this state okay, 
uh, where you have person where you have situations you have your earlier experiences okay which helps you judge the new situation okay all of this they influence your appraisal mechanism okay and then once you go for an appraisal then you turn angry okay and this is in fact the model that they had suggested okay so according to them you have your present internal state in the present in, uh, internal state you have your cognitive things the memory would be the part of the cognitive structure this boy was the source of uh, no problem in earlier tekriti also this group was you no know, uh, troublesome in that episode also so you have that memory you have that affect the emotional component attached to it okay and then you have the arousal factor how much it uh, puts you under uh, unrest okay and these three things gets uh, you no know, uh, you have uh, certain input so these three things the inter, uh, present internal state gets influenced by the incoming inputs which could be person dependent which could be situation dependent okay so usually what happens people whom you don't like people who always trigger certain degree of anger in you okay will continue to trigger that anger okay because your present internal state okay interacts with that individual in that format certain type of situations you do not appreciate it triggers anger in you okay imagine a situation uh, when you are not allowed to do what you love to do okay it creates certain degree of uh, aggression within you okay every day you come late by 5 minutes 10 minutes okay and then one day suddenly your 5 uh, or 10 minute delay has uh, no not given you or deprived you of the opportunity of responding to all the 10 questions in the quiz okay the situation could be a source of anger for you if the same is repeated twice okay the person who administers the quiz becomes the source of aggression for you okay so this is how person and situation will interact okay and they will influence your present internal state okay that if my uh, delay by 5 or 10 minutes have not deprived me of the opportunity of certain grades okay for remaining 42 lectures in the course why i should be punished only for the three uh, sessions okay you have different ways of you uh, know appraisal uh, of this experience but then this is what happens then this <coughs> encounters a social reality now you evaluate and you say that see if i argue this way that i have always been late by 10 minutes look at my records this is a consistent phenomena and because i have been consistent in my approach in terms of coming late by 10 minutes therefore i should not be deprived of the 10 questions of the second quiz okay because today also i am consistent i am late by 10 minutes okay your social interpretation says ke nahi yaar this is not appropriate okay uh, there are multiple loopholes if i argue this way and therefore you uh, know once you have the person in the situation in front of you that invokes certain degree of aggression that puts your uh, arousal mechanism go up your internal state doesn't remain what it was okay you first look at it also from the social appropriateness point of view okay and then there could be two possibilities one you have thoughtful actions so thoughtful action would be that once everybody goes out i'll quietly come and say that you know uh, i was in fact uh, on time uh, but i happened to fall down from the bicycle while i was entering the gate and that was the reason i was late today okay or uh, you could come and say that uh, i was uh, no not talking about anything i was not asking about any question or any answer uh, okay or i was not even trying to take out the mobile phone out of my pocket to send a sos message to my friend that quiz has begun do come okay uh, so why did you ask me to encircle my roll number okay these are thoughtful actions okay 
there could be an impulsive reaction keep your quiz with you and you walk out of the room okay that isn't a thoughtful action that is an impulsive reaction okay and then these two things okay will have appraisal and the decision making process so you evaluate you come forward with uh, the decision okay and this in turn will uh, give feedback to your input so if you are angry you keep boiling for some time okay this is anderson's and bushman's model of aggression how uh, right from the normal state internal uh, state of saturation okay you have a person you have a situation you have a social interpretation you have thoughtful action you have impulsive reaction <coughs> then you have the appraisal mechanism you have the decision making okay and many a times it might happen uh, that you turn angry to realize that this isn't appropriate because the quantum of anger that you uh, receive from the <coughs> recipient is much more than you and then you re decide not to show your anger imagine a situation uh, say the child shouts at the mother or the father that is a state of anger okay and then suddenly the father or the mother shouts more louder and the child decides ki no 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 perhaps i should not have tried this option because the return that i am getting is far intense and you decide not to shout you shout and immediately the one the parent on whom you have shouted slaps you and you decide oh the quantum of anger shown from the other end is much more intense and therefore you withdraw uh, even in social exchanges especially in uh, buses trains where people fight for getting seats finding space for themselves you would realize that you may shout and if the other person also shouts you would realize that gradually the situation very quickly comes down because both of them realizes that okay the opposition is mightier okay and therefore appraisal mechanism always tells you that what is is it appropriate for you to continue with your aggressive uh, reaction or should you try to tame your behavior okay now this is uh, now the type of anger which usually would be considered to be a, a normal pattern of reaction one thing that we left there in the thread was the impulsive behavior uh, impulsive behavior we would come little uh, later again but with respect to uh, with respect to not the usual impulsive reaction but uh, cases where individuals experiences inability in terms of containing their impulses okay usually what happens most of us are uh, like uh, no you would boil within and you would say ki i feel going and hitting him but then you only say this you do not do it okay so you have your ability to contain your impulse there are few who do not have this uh, control mechanism and that is considered to be a disorder that we would be talking about the fagan now we come to two interesting type of uh, aggressions indirect aggression and direct aggression okay indirect aggression like telling stories about the target of aggression in their absence so say the instructor who has not allowed you to respond to all 10 questions in both the quizzes because you were late is the source of anger for you now you are sitting somewhere where the source of anger is absent and then you construct new stories about your source of anger okay so now the target in his or her absence you start you know fabricating new new stories and you share it with the group okay the basic idea is to tarnish the image of the individual now such narrations could be element of lie or exaggeration in order to put the target in trouble because i don't like the source i don't like the target because i have my own uh, no uh, process of uh, interpreting the target i have tagged him as a source of aggression therefore i would cook all type of stories okay uh, that would be full of lies that will be no extra exaggeration of uh, no a very small episode that had happened okay but then 
this is how you reflect your emotion. This is a form of indirect aggression. Uh, once again, researches show that this is uh, no the form of aggressive reaction, mostly used by women. That doesn't mean that women do not show direct aggression, no? but largely uh, indirect aggressions are shown by women. Direct aggression uh, basically is a state where the aggression is manifested in the presence of the target. Okay. Uh, and once again uh, this is would this would be like say I know the target, I know who is the source of my anger and I go and have a head on experience with uh, him or her okay. and in turn there could be calculation errors and I myself would could become a victim of it. Again this is something shown mostly by men okay. and that is the reason you would find that uh, most of uh, the situations where uh, some degree of brutality is involved in the aggressive uh, phenomena, where somebody becomes a victim, fracture, cut, wounds, bloodshed, okay. you will always find men being involved in the action, not the women. Okay. Uh, you could have multiple ways of looking at it, one way could be that find uh, know, uh, the way women are uh, brought up in the society basically teaches them not to get engaged in such type of brutal acts compared to males. This another interpretation could be you know that uh, uh, the testosterone is basically responsible for instigating impulsive reaction in you. Okay. Men have uh, know extra amount of testosterone usually in their body compared to women and therefore, they will always be more aggressive and impulsive compared to women. This is an endocrinological uh, interpretation of this aggressive retaliation. And third and very beautiful interpretation comes from uh, the neuropsychological researches, which say that women have a little you know, refined brain compared to males. Okay. And therefore, their ability to calculate uh, you know, the outcome of the situation is superior compared to males and therefore, they can comprehend what is the point in getting and hitting you twice, when I know that I might also get something in return. So, in turn why not to cut you very quietly and nicely very sharply, so that you do not even realize that you are being murdered and done, my work is done. I do not get even a scratch and you have been completely beheaded. Okay. I should not say this, I am not saying you know, that males are better or females are better, uh, I am just trying to you know look at it intellectually from multiple viewpoints. Even in uh, the um, history of the mankind, if you look at uh, how one ruler dominated the other kingdom, you would uh, realize very interesting phenomena uh, that uh, the men rulers were those who used to be killed in the war. Okay. And in many cases, you would realize uh, that the queen of the deceased uh, king would marry the new king who has taken the throne. It is a very common type of uh, know, in the history it is very common anywhere in the world history. Okay. Earlier days if you look at this phenomena you will find uh, that this is how the process existed. Okay. Now, you can interpret your way that okay, it is the act of bravery go and get beheaded and somebody said what is the beauty in getting beheaded, okay. retain your head and live a decent life. So, these are interesting phenomena, uh, I will just touch upon that issue, uh, we had uh, once shared here in this class uh, that uh, the earlier phenomena of uh, what was called as fight flight reaction, there is a new set of research indicating that there is something called tend befriend reaction, you remember this and there also we had a distinction fight flight common to both men and women but tend befriend is a new pattern which is seen only in women not in men. Okay. So, in terms of indirect uh, and direct uh, aggressive reactions also it has been observed that indirect reactions mostly seen by women okay, and direct reactions uh, mostly seen uh, in men. Now, we come to uh, an interesting thing uh, where we would be primarily talking about the correlates of aggression. Okay what are the factors that basically precipitates greater degree of anger in you. 
okay, that makes you much more aggressive compared to others. Common ones parental rejection, okay. you somehow realize that you are an unwanted child, your parents do not love you and this can right from the earlier days of childhood can you know, make you keep boiling within. Such individuals okay, are likely to be much more aggressive in their uh, approach compared to others. Familial discords, no? you have all types of push and pulls in the family okay, and there was a great degree of disharmony that existed between the members of the family, okay, especially the two parents. If one has experienced painful punishments in life or did not experience it, but always had the looming danger of uh, physical punishment. Okay. So, if you have been repeatedly physically abused okay, for minor of the errors, you were punished by the parents, for uh, slightest of the error in the classroom, the teacher punishes you. Okay. For some uh, type of uh, reactions that you show in your group, some members of your own play group also uh, no, no, beats you. If you have been uh, know the one who has repeatedly received painful physical punishment in life, that can make you extremely angry <coughs> within. Okay. If you have not received it uh, personally, but if there was always a danger, okay, imagine situation when uh, the mother gives you a glass of milk and says P.O. P.O. Okay. Now, uh, a mother lovingly telling you that oh please my son or please my daughter have it, have it, okay, it is tasty, I have added bond bitter, I have added horlicks, I have done this, I have done that. Okay. The mother allows you, for most of the kids you would see you know, uh, that kids will uh, take longer time to eat small quantity of food, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes, it could be irritating for uh, the caretaker. Okay. But then if you start using threat as a module, okay, have this milk you have just 2 minutes, 2 minutes, 2, 2, 2 and then you do not apply it, but there is always a danger. No? So, the concentration is never on the milk, but it is always on where is the palm right now. Okay. Such type of situations can really uh, know, precipitate you know, extreme degree of anger in you. If one has received inconsistency in the treatment, means you have said something, you have done something okay. and uh, today one of the parents appreciates you, the other day the other the same parent does not appreciate you. Say you have passed from one class to the other class, okay. your friends told you, your teachers told you very good, your report says no. Um, uh, you were a meticulous student, you have done your work with precision and your hard work is worth appreciating. You receive all this in your report card, you show it to your parent who says, hmm, you need to study more okay. and then you never get an idea that how much should I score, so that those who really uh, know are very close to me, those who matter, they would appreciate it. Okay, you must have come across parents, you know, especially after 10th and 12th exams. Okay. Parents whose who, uh, kids would uh, know, achieve a very high percentage, but they would not be very happy. Okay. So, how much has your son or daughter secured and you say 95 percent you know, and why are you not happy? Okay. See Varmaji's son 98 percent. Okay. So, such comparisons never allow you to be happy. The worst is when you start uh, know showing inconsistency, say the child has used a slang for the first time, the child does not know the meaning. Okay. You listen to that word, but you ignore for whatever reason. Second time the child uses the word and you scold, third time the child uses the word you slap, fourth time the child uses the word again you ignore and child would never understand. Okay, whether it is appropriate to use the word or not appropriate to use the word. So, if you have that type of an inconsistency, okay, even inconsistency in terms of treatment by the two parents, 
one parent scolds you for the same thing other parent appreciates you for the same thing you do not know what to do. Okay. Evening when you, you know go for uh, playing in the ground okay. if father looks at you that you are playing he scolds you mother says no no go and play and you are utterly confused know whether playing is good or not. Okay. So, one comes with some type of a logical deduction which might not be accurate like playing in the absence of father is good. In many families you would see you know uh, the child is still playing with video game, online games, watching movies. Okay. All of this will continue till the father comes and the moment the father comes there is absolute discipline and silence in the family. It reminds me of my own childhood experience. I had a friend in my neighborhood. We used to play cricket in the evening. There were kids of my age, you know, in approximately all the house there. So, we would all assemble there, we would play, and uh, we had one friend who would always come and request that please allow me to do the batting first. Okay. And as you know, you know, in the childhood days, you take more pride in batting rather than doing anything else in the game. And therefore, all of us would say no to him and he would every day come and uh, know, beg that no, no, please, 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 no, I would be the first one uh, to bat. And the whole reason was that his father would come sometime midway when the game was on from the office and he would stand in his corridor, shout at the loudest of his voice. Okay, I still remember his name because of that sound when I am explaining it I could my memory tells me you know how the father used to pronounce his name in the state of anger. So, he would just shout that uh, you know, he the name of that child and this child wherever he is will just drop even if he is doing like this you know, he will drop the bat and run. Every day it happened and this was you know when we were in somewhere in class 6, 7 that stage uh, when studies are not that important. But his father was very particular, no. So no games. You have to study. When we came to class tenth, that level, uh, his house was located at a place where, uh, no, if I get out of my house, take a turn, and go for getting something from a shop, his house would fall in between. Right from morning, seven o'clock. I don't know if he used to sit before that. You would find him sitting uh, in the veranda, on the table with books whatever time you go right from 7 o'clock afternoon evening consistently x would be sitting in the veranda. Okay. But what was very interesting was that whosoever will cross the road which one or the other guy will always cross okay, he will wave his hand you know, uh, come close whisper. Okay. So, he would sit you know, following the dictates of his father he would sit on the chair but would never read the book, he would keep the book open and then this story continues. No, I am not going to that, but this shows great degree of inconsistency when the father does not allow you to play and uh, mother was a housewife who would, would always allow him that to go and play with your friends, this is the evening time all of them have gathered in the playground. So, such in inconsistency will again you know make you utterly confused and can again trigger anger in you. Parents permissiveness of aggression, as a small child you show certain degree of aggressive behavior and parents allow you to do that. The worst can happen when the parents admire you for showing that. Okay. You remember we have been talking that if you are brought up in a society where uh, the male member of the family takes liberty of shouting at the female members, the growing male child also starts doing that. Now, imagine the situation when the father sorry the mother says he is just like his father. When the grandparent says bilkul apne baap pe gaya hai. and then you realize oh there is a beauty in imitating the aggression of my father. So, keep shouting. Okay. So, the way parents allow the kids to you know uh, show their aggression can make them further continue with this act in a much, much more consolidated manner. If the parental expectation is low, parents do not expect too much from you. If uh, the parents uh, they do not supervise you 
well if you have your parents who themselves are social deviants okay if parents have consistently been showing their dissatisfaction okay with respect to whatever uh, you have achieved in life whatever you have shown in life okay uh, if you have been continuously receiving punishment we have discussed this if threat has constantly been used okay and if you realize that after doing this much also in life your parents did not accept you now if you look right from top to bottom it's all parents parents and parents okay and therefore it is always said that the first formative phase that you experience plays the most important role in terms of uh, you know deciding the baseline for your aggressive behavior now we come to uh, another form of aggression uh, where you do not exhibit your aggressive reaction to the actual source rather you displace your anger the person responsible for the thwarting act is always the primary target no? so if whosoever is responsible if you are able to identify your aggression will always and always be directed to him or her the good part is uh, we had discussed it study also no cultural and hostile aggression that you realize that person is important but then his or her possessions are also important his or her reputation is also important his or her ideals are also important his or her friends are also important so if i cannot target you i can target your possessions i can target your reputation i can target your ideals i can target your friends so if not you okay your friends there have been constant uh, no disturbance in our family uh, sorry in our society uh, at least in the past few years we have not heard it uh, so much uh, but uh, i would say that 5 years before this timeline uh, repeatedly every every day there happened to be a news uh, that the statue of uh, one of the well known freedom fighters of india who is also given the credit of uh, uh, being instrumental in getting our constitution formed his idols were pulled down okay so you have uh, say if x is the person okay uh, his statues were made throughout the country okay and because a small group of people identify with him consider him to be the ideal so uh, no people will uh, no pull down the statue they'll turn the statue into rebels <coughs> apply something uh, on the face of the statue uh, show throw some dirt on the statue this was very common 5 years ago and uniformly uniformly throughout the country and i must tell you that that was the time when <coughs> people who belonged to this set of castes okay they were gradually also becoming more and more politically powerful okay and this uh, no tug of war continued for very long very long more than 2 uh, 3 years it continued and then gradually it stabilized to certain extent now this is like say targeting your ideals okay so you have been enjoying this privilege because the government has passed this ordinance okay you identify yourself you consider him to be your ideal you have put his your uh, his statue there and pull it down so you are by pulling one statue okay you are hurting the sentiments of large number of people killing the reputation cutting the reputation of an individual into pieces ah, i have i have known this man for last 5 years indirect aggression no very nicely you make slice of the character of this individual no what we popularly called is called as character assassination no you have seen only this side of this man no see the other side oh and you fabricate stories no so you cut short on the reputation or 
know target the possessions of the individual okay uh, so especially those who of you who have been to uh, boarding schools okay i'm sure you must have experienced many such things okay where uh, the lead the lead boss from the student group his positions are uh, made the target when hostel wardens positions are made the target okay this is seen usually in the adolescent age no 8th 9th 10th 11th then it goes down where when you take pride in doing this bullying is uh, no again a very big area of research in psychology especially if you look at the content of uh, adolescence uh, related stuffs in psychology you would find great amount of research in bullying also here we are discussing bullying in a very uh, small fashion with respect to displaced anger bullying basically is a mechanism where you find a scapegoat somebody on whom you can express your anger okay and usually that person is supposed to be uh, weaker than yourself okay the one who will not retaliate who will not give you the uh, reciprocal response take situations like persecutions by gang or a group so a group of people decide to persecute you being cruel to weak and defenseless okay uh, it could be done at a smaller level it could be done at a very larger level also you remember long time back uh, there was uh, some uh, problem in odisha when uh, very uh, draconian act took place a group of people uh, had put a vehicle on fire a jeep where uh, no somebody was sitting inside okay and that somebody happened to be uh, a foreign national who was working as a christian missionary in the state of odisha okay uh, and this story you know graham stanley was the man no and this was uh, in the limelight for very long okay uh, and the person who had really who was uh, caught by the police that he is the one uh, who should be held responsible for the act kept on uh, no negating that uh, he is repentless and he had his own way of looking at it now a group of people can go to this extent you know where you decide to persecute an individual okay when you become extremely cruel to somebody who can't defend oneself okay so you find that you can shout at your servant you can uh, slap your servant you can punish your servant uh, it's very common no <coughs> in the urban areas you would repeatedly find uh, reports of uh, physical abuses of maids uh beating maids chained maids okay if you look at the archives of the newspaper i will say that every 15 20 days one such news appears i'm sure that they these are under reported cases okay but certainly there are many more such things at a larger level look at the present political uh, you know uh, disharmony that has taken place no uh, one political party within country asking the government to uh, vote for an issue that is going to be debated in the united nations no? whole of uh, no the uh, youngsters tamil uh, youngsters who are defenseless okay and you kill them you shoot them saying that fine they were killed in the battlefield and now after these uh, many months the new report shows that fine they were caught somewhere else they were without uh, firearms they were brought to somewhere and then they were shot from a very close range okay uh, i don't know if you have seen this uh, video uh, there is a uh, documentary film no i think uh, what's the name of the documentary do you remember the sri lankan battlefield or battlefield in sri lanka something like this no which basically shows the atrocity of the sri lankan armed forces on the tamil rebels uh the whole argument is uh, that from 
those who have made the documentary the channel which is uh, telecasting it it was even screened in the un okay showing to our rest of the nations let's see this is actually what happened okay so the justification is that uh, say if you are killing somebody who had arms in the hand okay who were uh, fighting you and therefore they were killed in the operation fine but somebody even though he is a rebel but then was uh, without a fire weapon should not have been persecuted persecuting one's pet so i can't uh, no confront you but you your dog always goes for a walk no so i'll hit the dog write something on the dog okay cruelty towards less member of your own group okay four five members usually this is what the gang formation is in the adolescent years so within your group itself you find somebody who is the source of aggression for the remainings have you seen this movie shoot out at lokhandwala remember in that gang there was somebody uh, no who everybody would comment on that's basically you know uh, a weaker identifying a weaker member in within your own group who who otherwise enjoys the privilege of being your uh, in inward inside member but then is also the source of frustration for others and then aggression towards other small subgroups so you are dominant and you take smaller subgroups you show anger towards them so this was all about displaced anger now when we meet next we would be talking about pathological side of anger when anger doesn't remain normal at all